I'm Max Barton. I'm the director. I raise money. I ask for money. I look for grants. I review financial statements. I review our investments. I work with everybody to create our strategic plan and and am the spokesperson and puts the museum out in front of the community. I'm Christy Davis. I'm the curator of exhibits or exhibitions. Um, so I curate the exhibitions um, and <laughs> work with the planning, logistics, uh, management of the exhibits that we have at the museum. I'm Nikki Fetterman. I'm the education outreach coordinator as well as the museum to go coordinator at the museum. I'm Christina Bellavo. I'm the finance director here at the Camp Museum of Art. So um, I, I do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I am a huntress for grants, <laughs> especially during COVID. We used it to help support our staff and to help support the digital programming, the digital content that we were doing. So those were the major things. When we closed, education and curatorial and everybody moved to online programming pretty swiftly, I will say. We've had over 100,000 plus participants in our online programming. Most people have said, is that going to continue once you reopen fully? And it's our intent to have it continue because it's touched vastly more people than would have been able to visit the museum and experience something. Uh, so that will be part of our programming going forward. We had a group that um, they weren't able to leave their homes. They had medical conditions in which they weren't able to leave their homes. So we have this beautiful American impressionism show up right now, lovely watercolor paintings, we were able to do a tour with them using our cart and our technology and bring the art to them in their home. And really that, that's very special for someone that can't leave and that can get out in, in a way and have a, an art experience that helps them. And I, I think that's awesome that we're able to do those things. Some of the programming that we didn't think that we were capable of doing or that we thought that we didn't have the right stuff to be able to put it together, we proved ourselves wrong in the best of ways. And we've been able to pull off a lot of things that maybe previously have been considered, oh, there's no way we could do this. Oh, there's, uh, we, that's too much. We can't possibly. One thing is learning that we are capable of doing even more than we already accomplished. We've inspired many more people than we ever would have had this not occurred. Nobody knows what we're doing. We're all flying by the seat of our pants. We're all kind of, you know, learning so, so many new things that we never, ever thought. I never thought I would be a content creator. But knowing that I'm kind of capable of like pushing my own boundaries and limits um, and that I have a lot of people behind me supporting me for that has, I think, made me love working here even more. I think it's, um, yeah. it's really a special um group, but also a really nice place to fail. As dark as this COVID time has been, we've been able, I feel, to bring a lot of light in that darkness. 